Hello you! Guess what? For today, I just listened to an amazing lecture on shadow work and I was just mind blown and right after I was like, oh my god, I gotta, I gotta put my thoughts into order and I just gotta do this video. So today, I just want to tiny, tiny, tiny little bit scratch the surface of shadow work and and it's a whole thing in in psychology um, as to healing it the type of work and how we all have shadows within ourselves and there's all sorts of definitions there and mind you the one that pioneered shadow work is Carl Jung um, you don't need to remember this but anyway the one thing that he says about um, shadow is that it is the dark side of one's personality. And when you say the dark side and when you interpret it in, in, in this kind of language, you go like, ooh, it's either Darth Vader <laughs> or some sort of evil thing that just lurks there in the underground, the unconscious that just pops up. So. The, the, the field itself has done a bit of work around Jung's studies and work and, and um, other um, well-known psychologists and scientists and the dark side is not so much linked to evil or Star Wars. It's, it, it has to do... the. It has to do with the dark as in opposite to light or the lit or the one that we can see, the one that we show. And perhaps the awesome example that, um, this that was used in this lecture that I've seen and the lecture was um, part of a series of um, a, a lovely platform that I follow which is the Wicked University. Um, but today they... Um, shared something, um, an, an interview with Charlie Morley, who's a best-selling author and teacher and Buddhist and all sorts of lovely things, um, particularly specializing in lucid dreaming and shadow integration. And he had an amazing way of, uh, the link is actually given here, so his name is Charlie Morley, and if you just type that and um, embrace your shadow, <laughs> shadow integration with Charlie Mori, then definitely you will access his website and find out so much more about this, this amazing approach that he has in terms of there's, there's, um, there's that part of us, the way he looks at shadow or his approach to shadow is that is that part of us that we're hiding or where we're not prepared to admit or we're not prepared to love and it, it he even has a um, um, few books on it but one of them and in the interview he gives an example um, of, of um, exercise practical very practical exercise um, in terms of how, how do you know, how do you know um, what your shadow is? Um, well, pretty much the things that you keep to yourself, the things that you're afraid to admit. The, I'm, I'm sure you've heard so much um, or keep at bay of being vulnerable in, in front of people. So nowadays we tend to put forward this persona of this is me and this is who I am and um, not many of us are willing to actually admit to the whole of us um, the good um, and the parts that we keep hidden the parts that we put outside for everyone to see and the parts that we get defensive of and don't want anyone to recognize within us and 
few very easy examples, like I said, um, addictions, um, vulnerability, admitting um, that we are judgmental, uh, <laughs> admitting that we are or um, act spoiled sometimes, um, um, wanting reassurance and wanting adoration and finding all sorts of means to get that instead of admitting that um, there's something else there that um, causes it or we just refrain from um, saying it out loud it's been a, an amazing interview I tell you and I'm just so like woo, wired on it um, but mainly when it comes to the whole thing started around around lucid dreaming which is um, a whole different thing that I would don't really want to talk about it in this particular video in this one um, it, it's merely um, uh, about sharing with you my enthusiasm of the way he approached shadow work and how hard it is um, with or without therapy to in fact um, admit things to ourselves or say them out loud or even um, you know um, most therapies nowadays they recommend you keep a journal or write or whatever um, we we don't end up um, looking at ourselves in the mirror that way so if you've got a spare, uh, a spare hour, um, do Google Charlie Morley um, and Shadow Integration. You will definitely get something out of it. Um, it will speak to you um, in a um, very straightforward, easy to follow um, type of language and approach and It, there is there is so much in the words that he uh, put together and explained the integration that needs to happen for us to truly uh, just know who we are. Um, and another thing that he says in there, which is kind of sad but rather true, that we're all just hurt or broken on some level and um, we sometimes have a hard time admitting to that or to actually um, take accountability for, for um, embracing it and um, not hiding it and um, I'm not saying that um, it has to be everything out in the open. What I'm saying is that when you do look in the mirror um, in the morning and if you have that good feeling about looking into your own eyes, then uh, your shadow integration work has gone a long, long way from a, a mere beginner or not admitting it so it it's it was powerful stuff I tell you it was just so wow um, have a listen see what you think see what you take out of it I just simply loved it thank you so much I'm Gabriela and see you next time